<laughs> Shazam is back. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know how I felt about that trailer, man. Yeah, the choice of music was a little subpar, I'll say. A little intense there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, welcome back to Shop Talk Movie News, the 56th installment. Remember to like, share, subscribe, check us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, anywhere where you can find us sometimes, yeah. maybe on YouTube if we're lucky. <laughs> maybe. Uh, and uh, Shop Talk is a extension of Clubhouse Movies Podcast. I'm yes, your host, yes. Mark Rubalcaba, joined once again by Mr. A.O. Panetta. And man, we just came right in. Yeah. On DC Watch. <laughs> and we just saw the uh, Shazam trailer. Uh, I think the other trailer looked better and the other movie looked a little better because I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Yeah. Um, but I do have some interesting news that just dropped us not too long ago. So we all know James Gunn is one of the two big uh, spearheads. Yes. Of the new DC for a Warner Brothers. The DC verse. The DC verse. And he just posted on his Instagram picture of his cat and uh, all these people you know in the world who have cats know that when you're working hard and your cat's your supervisor he wants to come and supervise mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so he posts a picture of his, his, his fine feline who does have a shazam or superman logo on his chest by the way i didn't, yeah. I didn't catch that when That's i first looked cool it's a pretty good looking guy we got him on the screen here uh and he wrote uh trying to work on guardians of the galaxy of all volume three is hashtag you it's why to look at it but this one won't let me forget it's catter day and uh, for all you cat owners, I think every day is catter day. Yeah. And the reason why it's news is some uh, prick actually like texted him. F*** your cat, dude. You pissed off an entire franchise worth of fans. Nobody gives a rat's ass about your cat. Cavelli's Clark. Or I should say hashtag Cavelli's Clark. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the reason why there's news is because James Gunn actually responded. Oh, <laughs> he says it'd be great if at the very least you knew how to spell the actor's name. You were going to be so outraged. <laughs> yeah, he, he wrote because he, yeah, he missed he misspelled it. Yeah, he oh, said Lord. it'd be great if at the very least you knew how to spell an actor's name if you were going to be so outraged. What a douche! What a douche! Yeah, man, like, you know, just a cat, cat dude. Just so, a cat. So you know, <coughs> the cats are a thing. Penny is a thing. Yeah, Penny is real. Penny's real. Hashtag Penny is real. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new one. Yeah. Penny uh, is real. And, uh, you know, as uh, as James Gunn knows very well, every day is Catter Day. But, you know, look, definitely looking forward to the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in other DC news, it looks like Jason Momoa was super happy. Here's some video footage of him. Uh-huh. Four, four, no, no, I don't want you. I remember four years ago, I was screaming, wasn't right, I? Yeah. Screaming when I left Warner Brothers. All right? Everyone's in the video. <laughs> Yeah, he was coming out saying how happy he is, and he says the last time I was this happy, I was Aqu- I became Aquaman. Ooh! So uh, he's like, Ooh. I love James and all this and that. So there's a heavy rumor that Jason Momoa will re- maintain his Aquaman status. You know, and I saw a story pop up where he was saying, you know, like I am Aquaman. So I don't know if he got hints about it before, but that, hey, that's he is Aquaman. Mm-hmm. I mean, he really is. He's Aquaman, as far as we know, he is. Aquaman. All yeah, right. So uh, we will be looking forward to that um, DC stuff. Yeah. And uh, that concludes this uh, this realm of DC Watch. <laughs> DC Watch. Anyway, so I got, I got something a bit of Marvel here. Not Marvel Watch. We're yeah, not going to call not it that. Enough. Not enough news. I have one here. But uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but Robert Downey Jr. and you know, played Iron Man. I don't know if you guys remember that at all. But yeah. um, I don't know if anybody does anyway. Um, but Robert Downey Jr. might be reprising his role as Iron Man for, you know, around Spider-Man 4 era or something like that. So it's they might they might be working with him again. Yeah, I've heard this rumor uh, and it, it, it is high likelihood. Yeah, it comes and goes. But this one seems pretty, pretty good. Yeah, pretty so good. It'd be nice to see him. Yeah, just don't have Tom Cruise as Iron Man. Yeah, that'd be weird. Speaking of uh Iconic characters coming back. You know who else is coming back? Who else? Tell me. Uh, director Tommy Workola. If you remember this name, he directed Violent Night. Really? He said that Violent Night 2 is in the works. I can see that happening. Yeah. Hey, why not? Look, if Santa Claus 2 got to gotta go and then Santa Claus 3 got to go, which was horrible. Who, who, who do you think should play his wife? I was kind of thinking of like iconic like women, like tough women. Yeah. Sigourney Weaver should be Mrs. Claus, but she's a little too tall. Yeah, Sigourney Weaver could be his wife. I she mean, could be his not? wife. 
Oh, she can kick his ass. I mean, if he's like Mr. Viking and stuff, so why not? Have yeah, like right? a tall, angry woman. I mean, could have he could have Xena Warrior Princess herself, Lucy Lawless coming back in. <laughs> why not? I got another one. How about uh Kathy Bates? Kathy Bates. Yeah, just you know, I think Kathy Bates if you, if you yeah. dressed her up and then I, I'm <laughs> what, a, she could what about Jack up. Natalie Portman? <laughs> The two old CG arms, Natalie Portman. <laughs> yeah, she brought the guns to the gun show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. She almost out Thor Thord. Yeah, um, woof. that'd be something. That's cool, though. I'm yeah. excited. That movie's good. It's, it's a fun movie. If you not got a chance to watch Violent Night, please do watch it. Also, please do watch a review on that one. Oh, yeah, but um, oh, yeah. I, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one's actually out for your uh, <laughs> Free consumption pleasure. Is it? I don't even know. I don't know. If it's out there, it's out there. If it isn't, well, it will be. Um, we have another guy here. Um, uh, composer John Williams. I'm sure if you like Star Wars, you know who this guy is, among other movies and among other things he's composed. Um, apparently, he has been nominated for another Academy Award, this time for uh, Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans, and normally that wouldn't be any cause for uproar other than, you know, him slapping himself on the back, of course, but at 90 years old, Williams is now the oldest person to be nominated for a competitive Oscar. 90. Damn, he's old. <laughs> we've been we've been reviewing movies for a while now, Yeah, and I think we've seen a lot of the big ones that have come out. Yeah. I think we've been missing a lot of the Oscar bait movies. We <laughs> and, 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 and we really have. And I'm really not trying to. Like, they're no. really not trying to make a statement. We, or we really are just busy trying to watch what is already out there. I mean, if looks movie studios, if you guys want us to show up and watch these things before they show up, we'll send a correspondent out or we'll figure it out. But yeah. like, I've I kind of heard about the Fable Men coming out, but it looked completely uninteresting. Yeah, it looked boring as shit. Yeah. Steven and, Spielberg, come on! You made Encounters of the Third Kind. I don't dude. know. I don't know. How Indiana to, Jones. I don't know how to, how to feel about the movie that like that might be good. It's apparently Oscar worthy, but I just don't want to see it. Yeah, and it's and, and and here's the thing: if I heard like off the street, like oh man, it's f-ing great. I've not heard that f- at not all. Heard that from anybody. no one has told me anything about this movie. I haven't heard anything about thing. It's been quiet, like all I, quiet on the western front. With you, I didn't want to see Megan. <laughs> When yeah, I didn't want it. I, like I, the I, only reason I was like cool with watching it. Well, one, we got to do the show, but two was there was a lot of buzz before you even told me, hey, we're going to watch Megan. But the, but by the way, Megan review coming soon. Yes, <laughs> but uh, a lot of reviews coming soon. <laughs> uh, but when it was coming out, the the buzz wasn't bad. It was no buzz. It was just sort of like yeah. I, I saw a trailer. It kind of was like, like, went hey. over my head. OK, fine. Like evil doll movie. It's been. Done. Yeah, right. Uh, but going back to the Fableman, it was just sort of like even before it came out, the only buzz was like it's Oscar bait. Like, oh, this movie's gonna be. Which, but how do you know that if the movie hasn't come out yet? And that's a thing, right? It's like now is and all, is all, just, all I heard when I saw that was <laughs> yeah. Like, don't tell me a movie's gonna. Don't tell me it didn't happen. You know, yeah. um, don't tell me a movie's gonna be Oscar bait before the majority of the public has even gone out to see it. And like, it doesn't look good. It, no, from and the quick little excerpts, like little grabs I've been watching, I'm like, eh. and the thing about it is like the reason why I I didn't th- I want to necessarily go on this rant. Look, and up. we like cinema. Don't get it. We like cinema. We like Steven Spielberg. Here. Yeah, I I liked uh, what was it uh, West Side Story's last movie, uh, and I liked a lot of his movies, and I like John Williams, but I haven't heard the score to Fablemans. No way is it going to top like some other movies. No, that have come no. Out. Uh, and it's not going to be industry ch- industry changing. Yeah, and, and there have been movies that I've seen where like, man, I like the score to this movie. Yeah. And I know for a fact I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna listen to the freaking Fableman score like on yeah. the way on a trip. And if I am, I'm definitely not gonna just watch the movie. I'm just gonna be like <laughs> put that Jurassic Park like score back <laughs> yeah. on. You know? Yeah. Gosh, man. Because it's, cause, what, 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 it's a documentary. Like yeah. why do you need why do you even need to bring is it a documentary? I don't know what it is. It's something. I it's, don't know what it, it is. I know what it is for a fact. Oscar bait. It is Oscar bait. You know, I thought you were going to say, like, I didn't know what you were going to say, I'll admit, but man, psh, out of the park with that one. There we go. <laughs> Good stuff. Speaking of things that might give you a. If you're a Star Wars fan, we're carrying on this thing. Apparently, John Williams, um, just kidding, he's not involved at all with this, but Star Wars skeleton crew over at Disney Plus has apparently just wrapped filming and. Uh, Jude Law is in this one. So 
let's hope oh, is that the name of the uh, show skeleton crew is it's it? called skeleton crew star wars skeleton crew it's our only hope no it's i'm just really hoping this one takes off more than Andor did and or not bad but the think, buzz was just I'm like, going to add this to man. another list of, of, of uh, Disney property that I'm not going to watch. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to watch it just because I'm a Star Wars junkie and I'll report back, I guess, when it does eventually come out and probably bomb as long as it doesn't have a bunch of teeth <laughs> like Boba Fett. Yeah, man. Or Obi-Wan. Man, I have not gone back to watch any of those. <laughs> you know what I have gone back to is the Mandalorian. Yeah, right. I, so it's like, come on, man. I like the Mandalorian. Uh, that's pretty good. I will watch the new season. Yeah, uh, and I'll watch. You know, I will give a, a second season of Obi Wan a chance. I'll uh, give it a chance. Man, I I, don't I just know, like maybe. I just like uh, Ewan McGregor as Obi Wan. Yeah. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> um, and speaking of uh, actors doing well, uh, here about Zoe Zendala. <laughs> Zoe Zendana. <laughs> Zoe Zaldana. So, yeah, there we go. So, it's, I, I had to find the end with that hat. Yeah, <laughs> Zoe Saldana. Yeah, with that squiggly thing. She's the first actor to have four films that crossed the two billion mark. That's crazy. So that is the uh, aforementioned. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it today, but that's Avatar: The Way of Water. Yep. Avatar. Yep. Infinity War. Yep. And Endgame. Crazy. So she's uh, in the money. Uh, once you go blue, you get all that green. That's what happens with her. Yeah. Uh, but so yeah, good luck to uh, Zoe Zaldana. Yeah, hopefully she saw some of that money. I think I know, right? I think <laughs> it's Samuel, like, I think it's Samuel, like good for you. Happened to be in a movie that made a lot of money. I think Samuel Jackson is still the highest grossing actor of all time, though. Yeah, because he's been in a ton of movies. Like he's in half of these. He's in all of the movies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, so I'm sure he's somewhere in Avatar. <laughs> he's just so credited, still paid. <laughs> he'd be a good villain. He'd be a good. He'd be a good uh, Navi. Yeah. He'd he be. Would. He'd be. A, you know, whatever Quadrich was like an angry yeah. marine in Avatar's body. Well, you never know. We're going to the fire si- fire time next time, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's on you. <laughs> He's like these mother effing snakes. <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah. his mother effing jungle. Oh, well, speaking of snake, oh man, this was perfect. <laughs> it was perfectly perfect happenstance. Um, uh, I don't know if you remember this movie, uh, Escape from New York. I don't know if you recall that movie, right? You know, sir, yeah, with Kurt Russell directed by uh, John Carpenter. Yeah, so directed by John Carpenter. So apparently, there's going to be a reboot. It's a reboot happening. Uh, but according to John Carpenter, he is not associated or involved whatsoever in this reboot. And he also heard that they're going to be gender swapping Snake for a uh, so-called. <laughs> we're making it up. A lady viper. <laughs> You know, um, I was thinking about. You ever think about the movie Captain Ron? Cap- no. <laughs> what is Captain Ron? Tell me. Captain Ron. I don't know who the hell made Learn it. Learn me something. But it was a movie starring Kurt Russell and uh-huh. Martin Short. And I haven't thought about this movie since the day it came out <laughs> back in 1992. Captain Ron. But he he also wore an eye patch. He was he was like a pirate, like captain, yeah. but in modern days. Okay. And he was just like he was like the chauffeur pirate for like rich people or something. <laughs> chauffeur pirate. Yeah, I don't know. It was. <laughs> Yeah, they had to reboot that. <laughs> Since John Carpenter isn't involved in the the Snake Plissken remake, why, why don't we bring back yeah, Russell? So, so, <laughs> Cap- so here we go, Captain Ron. This is uh, this is what it is. A, a Chicago, a Chicago. God, Puerto Rican just coming out right there. A Chicagoan inherits an old yacht. He, his wife, daughter, and son fly to a Caribbean island and hire a dubious Captain Ron to sail them on an adventure to Miami. Man, that screams late eighties, early nineties, and that was released in nineteen ninety two, directed Yay! by Tom Everhart. What else did Tom Everhart do? <laughs> let's let's go down this this rabbit hole here. <laughs> so Tom Everhart was born on March seventh, nineteen forty seven, in Los Angeles. I want to know what he's doing. Is he still doing TV? Is that all he's made? Um, the last thing I can see here on IMDb was <laughs> he directed the TV movie Rats with a Z at the end. <laughs> He did Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. He was a writer for ni- in 92. He directed uh, 90, 1988's Without a Clue, and then he also directed 1984's Night of the Comet. Wow. Well, anyone uh, <laughs> looking to put out a new movie, Tom Ever- <laughs> Everhart. He's out Everhart. I only bring it up because like someone's still hiring M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> Not that Captain Ron was a great movie, yeah. but it was no M. <laughs> Night Shyamalan movie. Well, he did a lot of other things too, but my goodness. <laughs> I'm looking at these. and I'm like, I don't know what these are at all. All right. Well, speaking of douchebags, uh, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, did you know that they're making a new Tron movie? Tron Ares, directed by Yakim <laughs> no. Roning, who also made some Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Okay. Um, but he's around. That but, doesn't sound too bad. But okay. the reason why I bring up douchebags. Okay. Guess uh, no. Guess who's starring in it now? No. Wait, starring? Guess who's starring in it now? <sighs> Leto! Damn it, Leto! Leto! <laughs> Jared Leto will be starring. I didn't know he Tron was Ares. starring in it. He is a robot, <laughs> but you know what's stupid. He farts and flies like a vampire. He just played that like same kind of character in Tron, not Tron, <laughs> in Blade Runner twenty forty nine. He was the villain of Blade Runner twenty forty nine, yeah, playing like a robot man. This guy, a blind robot man, man. Is Jared, Le- Jared? Okay, Jared Leto better be like the nicest guy ever. Like, if you ever meet him, like I thought, I, I can imagine like meeting him in a bar. So like, you're that douche actor. But then like three hours later, we're just drunk singing old Irish songs. <laughs> yeah. Like you're a cool dude, man. You're like, wow, <laughs> yeah. I'm the douchebag. <laughs> I know. Sorry, Leto. So sure your acting stinks and you look like a douche and yeah. like you just generally seem like a douche, but you're a nice guy. Yeah. Dang it. Kind of like Guy Fieri. Yeah. <laughs> he's a nice. He's called nice Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can cook a steak. Oh, I don't man. think Jared Leto can cook a steak. I don't think Jared knows how to eat a steak. Yeah. <laughs> Might mess up his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of things that are messed up, I, I can't eat that steak. It'll mess up my hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> the chef like what? This guy Fury. That doesn't make no sense. It's got all the oil. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, he was like, Speaking of things that are messed up, so Jeremy Renner. <laughs> Terrible. I'm still laughing. Here. <laughs> Apparently, he broke thirty bones in the snowplow accident. Hang on. Let's see how many bones that is. Almost there. Close. Okay, get in there. Take that. There we go. Thirty bones. <laughs> but hey, he did it being like a superhero. I know. Apparently, he did it while trying to rescue his nephew from being run over by that exact. Re- actually, pump. rescuing his ne- yeah nephew. Like for real. He like didn't he, try to. He oh sorry. He actually rescued him. That's why he's the one who got run over. Yeah. By a seven ton snowplow. Wow, jeez, seven tons. Can you want to know what happened? Yeah, <laughs> he was <laughs> like, let all. <"Let> <laughs> yeah, he lost the role to Tron Aries. To Jared no, <laughs> no, my hair. <laughs> Gosh, can't eat that steak. It'll ruin my hair. <laughs> Speaking of things that are going to ruin my hair. Last time he had a apparently steak. Dungeons and Dragons got called for a live action <laughs> series. <laughs> Who ordered this? Someone at Paramount Plus has said, <laughs> yeah, so Dungeons and Dragons now. <laughs> now I can't uh, no more. I can't <laughs> no Dungeons and Dragons for no. me. <laughs> Nay, <laughs> but hey uh, back to uh, some avatar two news as we uh, as we alluded to uh, quite avatar watch, but hey, let's do it. Uh, fifth biggest moving of all time crossing the two billion mark at two point oh five billion dollars nice. crossing uh, avatar. Uh, Avengers Infinity War. Another movie starts with an A. Nice. I'm sure it's going to just keep creeping up there. I know. Well, it, once it, we get guys like us, I get free time and actually get a chance to go watch. I know. <laughs> the holidays are just sort of ending right now. Oh, man. My heater's been like out for like the last like month. Dude, I just got destroyed with a with a gas bill. Three digit gas bill. Terminated. No. I'm going to fix this one. <laughs> yeah, they actually sent me a letter like saying gas prices are going to go up 55%. I got an email. Saying, hey, your gas is probably gonna go up. Yeah, mine went up. They went up for it no quadrupled. Reason. What the hell, man? Dude, I don't know. What the hell, man? Sorry, I gotta heat my house. I know. So jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I, I gotta, gotta let my kids or wife my freeze. Steak. By the way, electricity is always more expensive than gas. Yes. So don't jack up the If gas. it's not as more expensive on the front end, it definitely is on the back end. Mm-hmm. Jeez, man. Light up that back end, man. What the hell? Good. Why is life so expensive? Uh, I got one more bit of news here. All right. I got one more after you, and I okay. think I'm done after that. Cavillius <laughs> Clark. No. Cavillius <laughs> Clark. Yeah, going, going back to. Uh, uh, no. Henry Cavill uh, yeah. dropped from Highlander. It looks like Chris uh, Helmsworth may replace him. Oh, what? Yeah. So you have. Wait, didn't uh, uh, Hemsworth take over for his other role? Yeah, it was the other one, the one no one talked yeah, about. Yeah, Liam Hemsworth. The one from uh, Hunger Games. Wow. That was hungry. Man, I never saw it. So there you go. Let's I mean, see. That's a series that lost momentum fast. Man, Jennifer Lawrence knows how to make the brakes go like <laughs> that. 
Anyway, like things that apparently have no breaks in sight and just keep going and going and going and going. Uh, the Simpsons, Bob's Burgers, and Family Guy renewed not just for one, but for two more seasons each at Fox, despite the criticism that Family Guy recently faced for uh, for pointing uh, making a joke about somebody. What? The guy? Yeah, apparently they made a joke about, uh, let's see, let me type it in. So apparently they made a joke about the rapper uh, Nipsey Hussle, and I don't know what it was. I <laughs> didn't bother looking it up, but hey, I guess any publicity is good publicity because look at it. They just got two more seasons. Well, that's how you know um, South Park is uh, on top. Is they make fun of everybody, and no yeah. one talks about anyone. <laughs> Man, they just keep going strong, and I'm sure we're going to be covering that. Yeah, new season of South Park coming out soon, so we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have an episode there. <laughs> We got the yeah. pen, we got the penny awards coming up pretty yep. soon. Lots of reviews, lots of good stuff coming up. Check out our Patreon and check it. I think we'll actually be opening our phone lines for the first time. Yeah. So we get we'll we'll, we'll, we'll we'll talk about more about that. Yeah, we're wired in. In a previous life, I was actually a phone guy. So hey, what? look at that. I was a phone technician. Oh, you were a cable guy, kind of <laughs> with a phone guy. Phone guy. Cable guy. Cable guy. Cable guy. <laughs> cable guy. <laughs> you know, I was thinking you were talking about like comedians playing like. Uh, Serious roles. Serious, what, what if Jim Carrey was like Hannibal Lecter in like another like a different dude? That would be fantastic. That'd be Jim Carrey, do it. Yeah, right. do it. If you're still acting, <laughs> I also uh, it also kind of blew my mind. When we mentioned uh, Bruce Campbell was like a sober Jim Carrey. Yeah, that was crazy. Like a Jim Carrey Those was the same face maneuvers. Yeah, right. And, uh, so had the same slap slapstick uh, <laughs> energy when he was younger. But anyway, remember. But anyway, remember to like, share, subscribe, check us out uh, on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, MySpace. Who knows? Yeah, all all know. that stuff. Yeah, I just got to say that. Remember, like, share, subscribe, <laughs> bell notification, all that. That good stuff. All that good stuff. For God's sakes, watch us. Yeah. <laughs> For God's sake. Oh, we really have devices to record. We. It's not cheap, guys. Look at this. These aren't just like We're tiles. Doing this. Look, look at this tiles. laptop. The show bought this laptop. The show bought this. It's laptop. for you guys. No, I bought this. It's laptop. so we know what's up. <laughs> this guy bought this laptop. <laughs> yeah. Uncle Obama bought the laptop. <laughs> You want Uncle stimulus? Benjamin and his cousins bought these laptops. Yeah. <laughs> Middle class bought this laptop. Yeah, man. <laughs> so much, so much work. The sweat off my brow. The sweat off my brow bought this laptop. <laughs> Whoo! It's hot in here. It is. Look at the horrible. <laughs> my goodness, I do have the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Roasting it. It's hotter than a Kentucky Woo! Fried Chicken in here. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you don't eat spicy food, do you? I do love you? spicy food, oh, I man. I went to one girl and I said, God, I've been eating spicy kimchi like it's going out of business. Oh, man. My wife hates me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can imagine just in bed just like, like this happening all day. <laughs> oh, the best. <laughs> <laughs> this smells like a freaking Morgan here. <laughs> <laughs> where where did they find him? They found the girl twelve feet deep. Oh man! <laughs> no, that's just it's Abel and his kimchi. <laughs> oh, so good! It's good for the gut. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I had a joke that I lost. Did you remember what we were talking about? <laughs> I was going somewhere with this. <laughs> going nowhere fast. Just thinking about this guy. Just like oh man, <laughs> in an elevator, just ripping it. Up. Kimchi man, give it a shot. Real good on all stuff. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I once had this squid jerky stuff. <laughs> squid jerky? Yeah, I got it at Costco. <laughs> squid jerky. Of course you got it from Costco. <laughs> well, you know, you Why doesn't Costco sponsor us? Jeez, you can get know. us at Costco. <laughs> I swear. Yeah. I was in the movie theater. I guessed everyone else. No. <laughs> Today I learned squid jerky gives you gas. <laughs> Everything gives you gas, but what I mean, like that more gas, violently. <laughs> I'm talking about angry, vengeful farts. Someone let out the wild turkey. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about the farts that other farts talk about. <laughs> Why? Do you remember those sweet farts? Yeah. Those squid farts, those sweet, sweet mamma berries. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? I don't know, man. <laughs> Ripping it. Oh. Anyway, oh. I'm your host, Mark Wokawa. <laughs> Joined once again by Mr. Ail Panetta and Shop Talk Movie News. Our 50 sticks episodes on Kobo's Movies Podcast. We'll catch you next time.